All right, guys, Mario here with TCG Portal. We've got Dante Pereira, our third place uh, contestant here. We're we'll at our locals at Black Hat Games. Um, what type are you playing today? I am playing Reflect Rush. Okay, and that was uh, third place as well, right? Yeah. All right, so, uh, go ahead and let us know what the deck's all about. So, the main strategy of the deck is to go as fast as you can. And so, Reflect just helps with it. Uh, you can filter away deck cards in your hands. Uh, you can pop your lances. And, yeah, she's just really, really good in this sort of deck. So, uh, I only play three Regali in this deck. I just play three orbs. Just, um, usually, you need the counters by around turn three or four, just for to search out for splits or just to finish off your opponent with a thunder or something. Uh, in the late game, it gets good just so you can draw cards with its third ability. Uh, yeah, so that's about it for orbs. Uh, going into the one drops for Rook Egg. Uh, Rook Egg is just a really good one drop, it's fuel for your Guinevere's. Your Cthugas, uh, at worst, you kill it with the Pumped Up Lance. And all, all your Resonators in this are red, so it just pretty much switches out everything. Uh, up next is 3 Hunter of the Black Force. Uh, this, is, this is just to help put pressure in the early game. Uh, it's just a really good card. And it's also Yeah, that too. You can gain some early damage. Up next is some removal with Demon Flames. This, uh, in the mirror match, is really nice. In the late game, when they have a Pumped Up Athena, and you can just attack with a Hunter and kill it with a Demon Flame. It can sometimes win you the game. And even in the early game, it, it can kill their, their Cthugas and their Prishas. It's just a good card. And we're red, so we play four Thunders, because Thunder is an amazing card. And Fog Thunder and somebody else. Up next, we play four Warrior. Uh, since we're dumping our hands so early in the, in the game, she helps us refuel it. And when you have a rock egg and her out, it's, it's just really good synergy. Out, like, even using her ability to make your lance go online uh, is really good. So, going into our two drops, we have main board two split. I was a bit hesitant of uh, people going one or two colors, so I only have put two in the main board. Uh, so, just having the two main, I felt safe. Having three or four, I felt like they were just going to get clunky. Even though I could filter them away with, ref with Reflect, I felt like it was just other spaces could have been used as their place. Uh, one Ame in the main board. I only play the one for just because I played the one Susan. And. It does turn on lances, but with the amount of removal in the meta right now, uh, it feels too common for you to be 2 for 1 with your lance. So that's why I only play 1. Uh, 4 lance, speed guys, lance is amazing. Uh, he can get rid of their early threats, get rid of Elvish Priest, just little, or just little blockers. He's a good sweeper when you when you have your when you have your little Ame with him. And overall, he's just a really good card. Fire breathing is always helpful. Into our three drops, we have four Prisha. She has done a lot for this deck. Her with Kithuga feels great when you can attack for seven and incarnate with Kithuga and just gain a lot of damage. And even paying the green giver flying feels great. Uh, just getting the, seven, getting the seven damage in and having the evasion. It's just a really good card overall. And we have four Cthulhu because Cthulhu is another great card. And as I said before, her Cthulhu with Prisha is great synergy. And it can sometimes close out the game. Uh, then finally we we have in the three drops three Athena. I don't play four be 
because four feels too clunky. Um, three feels like a safe number. Because so many people now are mainboarding Demon Flames, and she gets killed so easily with Demon Flames and such. So three just feels like feels like a much safer number than four. And finally, one seems because Wither is a very annoying card. And if you ever play someone that's playing Bahamut or is playing the new two drop dragon, this just really punishes them for playing that card. Uh, going to the Magic Zone base, we play one little red. We play five basic fire stones and four magic stones of awesome Wave. It's a red green deck, so the, ma the mana base is pretty basic. Uh, you only you don't want to play too many special stones because you play split, and you want to you don't want to punish yourself for playing split. Going into the sideboard, we play two flame king show. Because in case Analysis World deck pops up, this really board works them. Even playing this and getting something like an Athena for free just feels great. Just It provides so much utility and decks that just have so many trump blockers in the early game. It's just great. Uh, next is the another Athena. The fourth one is just in case we need if they're playing bows and such, I think I should just get around them. It's just much easier to deal with, deal with bows with this card. And if they're playing Valentina 2.0 and such, if you just pump this up big enough, it can block her forever. Up next, we have two Elvish Bowmen. Because when you go into the mirror match and they sideboard in their Robes of Fire Rat, you want to kill it as fast as possible because Robes of Fire Rats are annoying. And this can also kill Ame. Amaze. So it just does so much for this deck, and I think it's a very underrated card and it should be played more. I approve. I like that card. Up next is two Robo Fire Rat because the mirror match is annoying when they play their Athenas, and this, sh this also shuts off Prisha. So, if you roll a fire rat or push up, uh, it sh if, and you kill it, it doesn't deal the 500 damage. Because last known information was all damage was prevented by it. So, it doesn't deal the 500. So, it shuts off their pushes. So, that's really nice. And it kills their Lancelots too. It just shuts down the mirror match. Uh, up next is two Split Heaven and Earth. If we encounter a deck that plays 10 special stones, it, it just kills them very early. And having four in the main board just raises the, the chances of getting, the, getting these in your hand early much higher. Uh, we play one, one more Susan in case we encounter Quivers and such, or the new uh, dragon, two drop dragon. Because, as I said before, we want to punish them for playing it. We play Blazer because he kills J. Rulus and he's very annoying to deal with in the second game. Three Death Sight to go with Blazer to make sure their J. Rulus stays dead. And one Ame in case we need to put on the pressure. And that's it. Perfect. There you have it, guys. That was Dante, our third place uh, player tonight. Uh, if you enjoyed the deck, uh, leave a comment, uh, like, and a subscribe. It does help us out. Until next time, this is Mario with the City Portal. See you. Hey guys, be sure to check out GrinningRemnant.com, where you can find my videos and many other cool articles on everything Force of Will. And I'd like to thank Black Knight Games for holding these Force of Will tournaments. They are located in Hamilton, Ontario. Great place for all your card game, board game, and miniature needs. Great staff and lots of room. If you're ever in the area, be sure to check them out for things like FNMs and pre-releases, or just stop on by to take a look around. Links are in the description below. This is Mario with TCG Portal, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Boarding Demon Flames, and she gets killed so easily with Demon Flames and such. So three just feels like, feels like a much safer number than four. And finally one seems because Quiver is a very annoying card. And if you ever play someone that's playing Bahamut or is playing the new two drop dragon, this just really punishes them for playing that 
card. Uh, going to the Magic Zone base, we play one little red. We play five basic fire stones and four magic stones of awesome wave. It's a red green deck, so the, ma the mana base is pretty basic. Uh, you only you don't want to play too many special stones because you play split, and you want to play, you don't want to punish yourself for playing split. Going into the sideboard, we play two flame king show. Because in case analysis world deck pops up, this really board works them. Even playing this and getting something like an Athena for free just feels great. Just it provides so much utility in decks that just have so many trump blockers in the early game. It's just great. Uh, for next is the another Athena. The fourth one's just in case we need if they're playing bows and such, Athena's just good around them. It's just much easier to deal deal with bows with this card. And if they're playing Valentina 2.0 and such, if you just pump this up big enough, it can block her forever. Not that too, you can get some early damage. Up next is some removal with Demon Flames. This, uh, in the mirror match, is really nice in the late game when they have a pumped up Athena and you can just attack with a Hunter and kill it with a Demon Flame. It can sometimes win you the game. And even in the early game, it, it can kill their, their Cthugas and their Pushes. It's just a good card. And we're red, so we play four thunders because thunder is an amazing card. And fought thundering somebody feels good. Up next, we play four more here. Uh, since we're dumping our hands so early in the, in the game, she helps us refuel it. And when you have a rock egg and her out, it's, it's just really good synergy. Out, like even using her ability to make your lands go online uh, is really good. So going into our two drops, we have main board two split. I was a bit hesitant of people going one or two colors, so I only hit put two in the main board. Uh, so just having the two main, I felt safe. Having three or four, I felt like they were just going to get clunky. Even though I could filter them away with, ref with Reflect, I felt like it was just other spaces could have been used in their place. Uh, one Ame in the main board. I only play the one for just because I play the one Susan. And it does turn on Lances, but with the amount of removal up next, we have two Elvish Bowmen. Because when you go into the mirror match and they sideboard in their robes of fire rat, you want to kill it as fast as possible because robes of fire rats are annoying. And this can also kill Ame. Ames. So it just does so much for this deck, and I think it's a very underrated card and it should be played more. I approve. I like that card. Up next is two Robo Fire Rat because the mirror match is annoying when they play their Athenas and this, sh this also shuts off Prisha so if you roll a fire rat or Prisha uh, it sh if, and you kill it it doesn't deal the 500 damage because last known information was all damage was prevented by it so it doesn't deal the 500 so it sh shuts off their Prishas so that's really nice and it kills their Lancelots too Shuts down the mirror match. Uh, next is two split heaven and earth. If we encounter a deck that plays ten special stones, it it just kills them very early. And having four in the main board just raises the, the chances of getting the getting these in your hand early much higher. Uh, we play one one more Susan in case we encounter quivers and such. Or the new uh, dragon, two drop dragon, because as I said before, we want to punish them for playing it. We play Blazer because he kills J Rulers and he's very annoying in the meta right now. Uh, it feels too common for you to be two for one with your lance, so that's why I only play one. Uh, four lance because lance is amazing.
Uh, he can get rid of their early threats, get rid of Elvish Priests, just little, or just little blockers. He's a good sweeper when you when you have your when you have your little army with him. And overall, he's just a really good card. Fire breathing is always helpful. Into our three drops, we have four Prisha. She has done a lot for this deck. Her with Kethuga feels great when you can attack for seven and incarnate with Kethuga and just get in a lot of damage. And even paying the green, give her flying, feels great. Uh, just getting the, getting the seven damage in and having the evasion, it's just a really good card overall. And we have four Cthulhu because Cthulhu is another great card. And as I said before, her Cthulhu with Prisha is great synergy and can sometimes close out the game. And finally, we we have in the three drops three Athena. I don't play four because four feels too clunky. Um, three feels like a safe number because so many people now are. Alright, guys, Mario here with TCG Portal. We've got Dante Pereira, our third place uh, contestant here over at our locals at Blackbird Games. Um, what type of are you playing today? I am playing Reflect Rush. Okay, and that was uh, third place as well, right? Yeah. Alright, so, uh, go ahead and let us know what the deck's all about. So, the main strategy of the deck is to go as fast as you can. And so, Reflect just helps with it. Uh, you can filter away dead cards in your hands, uh, you can pump your lances. And yeah, she's just really, really good in this sort of deck. So uh, I only play three regalia in this deck. I just play three orbs. Just um, usually you need the counters by around turn three or four, just for to search out for splits or just to finish off your opponent with a thunder or something. Uh, in the late game, it gets good, just so you can draw cards with its third ability. Uh, yeah, so that's about it for orbs. Uh, going into the one drops for Rook Egg. Uh, Rook Egg is just a really good one drop. It's fuel for your Guinevere's, your Cthugas. Uh, at worst, you kill it with the Pumped Up Lance. And all, all your resonators in this are red, so it just pretty much searches out everything. Uh, up next is three hunter of the black forest. Uh, this is this is just help put pressure in the early game. Uh, it's just a really good card. And it's also fodder.